Hello everyone, I am Beth. Let me say thanks for taking the time to view the content on the channel. Rohan is busy working on a presentation for a conference. Therefore, I will be the presenter this week. Notwithstanding, Rohan will give a summary at the end of my presentation. Remember to click that like button and subscribe to our channel. This presentation will focus on navigating the terms disability, special needs, inclusive education, and inclusion. Now let us explore the definition of disability. According to the United Nations, a disability can be associated with long-term physical, mental, intellectual, or sensory impairments which create barriers that will limit or hinder effective participation in society on an equal basis with others. Please note two dominant areas of this definition long-term as it relates to the physical, mental, intellectual sensory impairment. The next important aspect of this definition is that the condition will impact the child's daily life activities. When we consider students with disabilities, we will need to envision what can be done to assist these students in participating in our society. The reality is that many students with disabilities will need medical care and health programs to empower them to be active participants in their society. As abled individuals in our society, we need to realize that being disabled is not a tragedy, however, it is our society that creates the tragedy by treating these students differently. For example, in many education systems children with disabilities are educated separately. For example, a child who is blind would be given the option to attend a school composed of other blind children. Why not allow the child to integrate into another school and bring in the support to ensure the child has access and is included? Now, this brings me to the point of what is required to ensure the inclusion of children with disabilities. There must be opportunities for the student to have the opportunity to be educated for their own personal well-being and to be able to participate in society. There must be investments by the government to ensure that the correct provision is provided for these students to achieve their full potential. There must be access to mainstream education. This will lead to inclusive education and the promotion of an inclusive culture within the society. And there must be laws in place to protect these vulnerable children in our society. Now there is still the thought by a few educators that students with disabilities should not be placed in the mainstream classroom. For years for many countries, this was the norm to have children with disabilities being placed in different learning spaces. However, if we are to enhance inclusion in our society it must begin within the framework of inclusion, hence the need for inclusive education, which seeks to include all learners regardless of differences or disabilities. According to the United Nations, Inclusive education begins with the premise that all learners have unique characteristics, interests, abilities, and particular learning needs, and, further, that learners with special education needs must have equal access to and receive individual accommodation in the general education system. Inclusive education approaches differences and diversity affirmatively, recognizing the value of such differences and the learning opportunities that such diversity offers. Yes, we seem to be moving ahead as planned. So let us now explore disability and inclusive education. The concept of inclusive education suggests that students with varied disabilities can be accommodated within our main school system. For education systems to advance toward inclusive education, there must be the eradication of segregated school systems. There must be a policy change to ensure that the principles of inclusive education are central to teaching and learning practice. There must be forward planning to ensure access to the school building, instructional materials, and the provision of support to all students who need to be accommodated because of their learning needs. I would also encourage the building of partnerships between parents and the school and the school and the wider community. There must be ongoing professional development for all administrators, teachers, and support staff in the school. There must also be adequate funding. Now let's explore the concept of special education. Special education needs refer to any policy framework or provision within education institutions that provides support for students with difficulties with reading, talking, listening, and the development of social skills. This provision also extends to students with emotional, mental health, and behavioral issues. At times, a student will need a special education provision because of life-changing events that will create barriers to their learning. Inclusion brings students with disabilities, special needs, and the concept of inclusive education under one umbrella. Inclusion also positions the need for equity and equality by addressing issues such as race, gender, sexual orientation, religion, social and cultural background, and other areas that must be addressed for all students to have equal access and opportunities. We will not go back to the days when people with various disabilities were shut out of our society and placed into various institutions. In the past, 
Diagnoses such as autism, Down syndrome, and mental issues often resulted in the withdrawal of students from our society by their parents or the state. As I bring this presentation to a close, please consider your present education systems and reflect on how effective your system is in addressing the needs of all learners. Is there a true mission to ensure that no child is left behind or our children are placed first? I will now turn it over to Rohan. Thanks, Beth, for that wonderful presentation. I know hope you realize that there are various terms that are used consistently through our education system that we need to reflect on. Disability, inclusion, special education needs. And of course, when we look at the whole aspect of it, we're just talking about equality for everyone. Now, I want you to reflect on the points made and I do hope that you will join us for next episode of Learning Journey next week. Bye.